Yo, 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 where's the spot at, bro? <laughs> Selling boxes and art, yeah, it's a good start. Smoking, drinking up in my car, graduated to a star. Going easy on the cut, my product raised the bar. Uncut, title cut, strong weed, long sleep. Oh, geez, like, damn, boy, you're doing it like me. I see, I heard, and I soaked up game. And with a heart full of hell, put your weed to shame. Shit, all my friends can't even move. What? Weed so good, they walk in with one shoe. They forgot they name, like a person from Maine. I got the stick. What's going on, y'all? It's episode 105. Yo, 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 where the spot at, bro? You know the deal. Las Vegas streets getting spots pins and locations i'm fighting traffic right now you got not so bad right here over there it's all backed up this freeway right here has been down for about a year but this ain't about traffic school this is about taking you to the best street skating spots in las vegas so right now we are headed to a spot that i've been this spot's cool it's all the way out in the desert it's underneath this freeway um you've got banks hips ledges you can take your car down there people have been doing donuts down there um it's out quite it's quite a ways depending on where you're at in vegas 20 to 35 minutes so what's a 20 minute drive though like i don't know man people be tripping i'll be putting spots they're like man i live right here i'm like the spot's like 17 minutes from your house he's like i know but i gotta get in my car then i gotta get my board then i gotta get something to drink then i gotta pick up the homie then i gotta go to the dispensary then i gotta roll it then i gotta drive there yeah that's usually the way it goes anyways we got some good spots today stay tuned hit that like subscribe we know we're the first spot bro yo 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 take me to the first spot bro well, we just got to the first spot and this spot i've been sitting on for a minute um a lot of people have been asking about it i posted a few pictures of it over um maybe like three months ago and then six months ago maybe even about seven or eight months ago i posted a few pictures so this spot i am gonna say this you need to show some respect when you come here because it's in between some houses um as you can see you have a person's house here you have a person's house here but there's a bike path here and this is a big wash so it is a public area as you go through but there are some banks here they are waxed up it's on slightly a bit of a downhill check this out Approach this spot this is at san and eduardo and san miguel i believe i'll put the exact gps you do have a wall right but don't mess with this um you're pretty much here for this other hip stuff right here i really wouldn't do pics up here maybe if the neighbor's out you can ask them if you're really trying to shoot a video part but this is pretty much what you're here for this also bends down a little bit so a little bit more of a wax job would be awesome but as you see right here this has been what is that lacquer that uh, coat they put on it as you can see there's been a bondo job done right here it is perfect so they got this good about 20 feet that is waxed up right here you can also end up waxing uh, more of the end as you can see there's a bike path there's somebody riding a bike right there and uh, this goes right down into there but you have this perfect little wash right here um there's a park up here i believe we're close to river mountain that i reviewed so you also have that but check this out this is so ill um it's nice and shiny as you can tell so that means it grinds really well i had some fun skating this um i knew exactly where it was when they uh, posted it maybe a year or more ago and um the bike path right here you got trains we used to come over here and walk this it's a really fun area you come down here off this bike path you have a long bike path you have all these trains right here as you see the bike path goes all the way down there's a ledge right here but i believe it's all skate cap a really really cool spot definitely hope i get to see somebody hit this as you see it's shining in the sun come over here and get you some cool little uh bank tricks it's only about two or three feet high um kind of goes up right here a really cool spot hope i get to see somebody hit that spot and you know how we do on to the next we just got to the next spot and this spot you're going to have to pay attention this is going to be a future diy spot like there's already tons of stuff down here i've been here before um i'm going to give you the cross streets there's a neighborhood right there behind me but this is off the side of a freeway underneath an overpass so um wait till you see this spot check this out you approach I parked right up here on the side of the freeway. You can drive, if you have a four by four, you can drive it down this rock. But my friend, friend got stuck and uh, he had to push his car out of here. But um, you can definitely bring it down here if you got a truck. Even some cars can fit down here. Approach, you can uh, open that gate. You can drive your car in here. But he drove his car in this rock. The only thing is, it's, it's so thick that they didn't pat it down. So as you approach this spot, you can park your car right there and look at this you come down here you got this cool little tunnel right here and you also got that stuff where you can do like wall rides on it you see like that 
and you have a perfect, the ground is perfect here. You have a really big corner hip. It's right here on the corner. This is all brand new, as you can see. So it's a big hip where you come in at. Then you also got that rail up there where you could do like, like wall rides on the rail and you have this big bank. this all you have a mani pad so it gets taller as you go to the end you see it's waxed right there but you have a mani pad and it's smaller it has like a curb and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller to where you have like two curbs so when you do the mani pad you're gonna pop over and you're gonna use that middle part then you come to the end you have this ledge right here and uh, I'm sure nobody's down here taking all the wax off um, it looks like there's some lacquer on it this is knee high at this part right here so as you come to the end, it gets higher and higher, and that is knee high. And where you pop over right here, it's just to the flat. Um, looks like no wax on this side yet. Um, no wax on the middle yet. Donuts on the ground right here. You also have another huge bank right here. Um, there is a hip right here, but it's not cornered out. So it's really not like a hip hip. So much stuff at this spot. And then um, right here, you got this little drain that you could play with. Right here, you got this. You can do tricks over. You're going to have to bring a broom so you can sweep that. It's a smaller drain. It's not one of those bigger ones. This is a smaller one. Really smooth, though. And then uh, that's where you came in at. This is the overpass on the freeway. Also do some, like, uh, wall rides or, like, stuff right here. Um, there's a little curb. I mean, you can ollie up and then ride back down. Um, that's too steep to drop in on if I don't think you can get enough, like, um, balance to do it. But um, you got the ledge right here, all this overpass. You see up here, it comes all the way to the top. So maybe you can come up and do like a grind and then go back down. Um, this grate goes all the way to the end, but this is all in the middle. That's big, it's all the way down there. You hope I get to see somebody hit that spot and you know how we do. On to the next. It's Via Nobila and Via Centro. Oh, we just got to the next spot and this is a brand new spot on um, the concrete's new everything's new here and there's a look at i'm look at this you approach this spot it's a one two three four five but it's like four stairs for each stair so four eight twelve sixteen it's like as long as a 15 stair these rails are a little high but the paint is just being applied these are oh someone's did it already look board marks right there so someone has hit this Oh man, I was like, dude, check these out. So you got one here, this one's not doable, but you have the runway from right here, so check this out. So this is how they hit it. Boom, comes straight through here, and they hit this side one. I'm sure both of them are doable, you just have a little less of a runway right here. Um, this thing is hip high. As you can see, there's the marks. So someone has been here, but check that set out. Wow, dude, you got all the runway in the world. Um, all new warehouses. I'll see if there's anything else, but check that out. You can also use it as a stair set, maybe clear it to the road, but that is awesome. Perfect, huge five stair. On the side of the road, and I was like, whoa, because I was just up there at that other spot, and I'm like, check that rail out, so someone beat me to it. Anyway, on to the next. Y'all, we just got to the next spot. And as you can see, it's nighttime right now. I actually left something here, so I'm coming back here. But this is the intro, and uh, this is where you get into the ditch. So the park is right there, maybe about 50 yards away. We came right down this little path, and boom, you got these mani pads. This is the first thing you're going to run into. Now, these things are really smooth. I mean, there's little rivets, but they're so smooth. It's almost perfect. Mani pad, mani pad, mani pad, mani pad. You can also use them just to do tricks over. I mean, it's this is so smooth. The ground is smooth. Um, the cracks aren't even big. I mean, this is perfect. You got four of them. This is all concrete up here, but there's like a, you got a little about one foot space so you can roll flat. This is all concrete, but over there, I believe it's smoother. So let's check it out. Well, those four things are right there. We came in right over there and this part is not as chunky. So you do have these little stairs you can crawl up on, but this is concrete. It's, you see what I mean? Like skateboard wheels will roll over it. And like right here, this one lane, like this is good. You could drop off the wall and right here is probably the smoothest part, but it's the smallest part. As you can see, it's nice and like smoother right here, but this is all concrete. So, I mean, 
you have to probably ride like 60 millimeter wheels and uh, maybe come here and lay some concrete if you really wanted to get a trick because the wall gets higher and higher. But uh, this is all concrete. Really fun spot. You can use those drains as mani pads. You can do flip tricks on the bank. Um, you can come and just put a little bit of concrete and put it on top of that concrete and make it even more rideable. See that concrete up top, it goes and goes and goes and goes. So you have endless possibilities. Like you can roll off off there, roll off off that, and then hit it to the flat. You see what I'm saying? So you just have to put, this is concrete up here. It looks like dirt, but it's not. But uh, this goes on forever. Such a cool spot, especially these mani pad things. Two ways to get into that spot down there because this is the same drain. So that's Green Valley Parkway right there. Um, yeah, there's a Green Valley Parkway sign. So you can come in on, this is a bike path. It goes all the way down past that spot. And then I'm gonna show you the coordinates I'm gonna give you coming off the bike path or you can come in off this park right here. So there's where you can come in at, and right here, these are higher than curbs. You can start right here, grind that, and then drop into that. And then there's the park. You park at this park, which I'm gonna put the GPS at. And then you can go under the fence right here, just hop it. And that spot is right there on the right. So you can come from the top of that bike path, which will take you about probably like a three to five minute road on the bike path off of Green Valley. Or you can come to this park, which I, that's the GPS I'm gonna put, hop the fence, go underneath it, or over there, I think it's like cut or something. Anyway, on to the next. We just got to the next spot and this is a bonus spot. So this will be spot number four. Um, I was driving by and I just seen this big metal rail. Check this out. Approach this spot, you have all the runway in the world. Now you have a lot of runway here. I would say you probably have six 12 maybe 15 feet okay so look you can put a board here or something you have more than enough to ollie on you go right here now this right here drops down maybe a quarter of an inch just slightly this is metal right here but look at this rail one two three four five six seven eight nine stair completely aluminum look at this thing all the runway in the world to go ahead and complete it right there but this thing is sick I don't see any grind marks on this. I wonder if this, oh, there is just a little bit. Somebody did try and grind this. You got board marks up here. Man, this thing is crazy. It's aluminum. It's the same as uh, what's made out of bleachers right here. Man, what a sick spot. Again, you have all this right here. You come on, you can use the stair set because it's a good nine, but it's a square metal rail. This thing is sick. Definitely want to see somebody hit this spot. One all, what a sick spot. Can't wait to see somebody hit this big metal rail. This is dope. You got all the runway in the world. Really, really cool ground. Um, I'll put the exact GPS. This school is Twitchell, T-W-I-T-C-H-E-L-L -L Elementary School. I'm gonna see if there's anything else, but uh, if not, you know how we do. On to the next. Hope y'all enjoyed that episode, man. Them spots are sick. I can't wait to see that uh, underneath the uh, freeway, that bridge spot. Uh, that's gonna turn into a sick DIY. You know, um, everybody knows where it's at now. Uh, you can go up there and get some tricks. All those spots are sick. You got four today with that bonus rail. Can't wait to see what's coming up next. There's so much construction going on. Just going out each week and venturing and finding new stuff is the way to go for me. But you know how we do. We on the way out. We heading home, stuck in traffic as normal. That's how Las Vegas is. Traffic, 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 traffic. Anyway, hit that like and subscribe. Until the next time, yo, yo, yo. Take me to the spot, bro.